the infinite expanses of our universe are both impressive and enigmatic. Deciphering the universe is without a doubt one of the most exciting fields of scientific research. Although NASA has already achieved several milestones with the successful manned moon landing in 1969 and other missions, the exact exploration of our galaxy is still in its infancy, despite these groundbreaking successes. Some phenomena in our universe, which were recorded by NASA staff, sometimes cause huge question marks over the heads of experts on Earth. In today's video, we would like to introduce you to five of these mysterious events and objects that should easily throw your previous picture of the universe into disarray. We leave the Earth, the only home we know, to go to the farthest reaches of the cosmos. If you would like to join us on our journey, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let us begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. giant ice volcanoes. The first mysterious discovery by NASA, which we would like to show you today, leads us straight to the surface of the dwarf planet Ceres. With an equatorial diameter of just 964 kilometers, Ceres is also the smallest celestial body of its kind. However, the planet, which was discovered in 1801 and named after a Roman deity, did not make the headlines because of its relatively small size. In fact, some researchers from the renowned space agency NASA were able to identify a huge, ancient volcano on Ceres, which differs significantly from its terrestrial counterparts in terms of its composition. In reality, the volcano that adorns the surface of Ceres is an ice volcano. If we inevitably think of conventional volcanoes as boiling hot lava spewing in gigantic fountains from the hellish maw of a mountain of fire, the case of the ice volcano on Ceres is completely different. The natural formation on the dwarf planet sprays water ice and other frozen molecules. These ice volcanoes, which are also known as cryovolcanoes among experts, could also be found in detail on several other celestial bodies in our galaxy. According to this, the icy volcanoes can also be found on a moon of Saturn and on Pluto. Very little is known about cryovolcanism in general. The ice volcano on the dwarf planet Ceres was found in 2015 by the NASA spacecraft Dawn. The gigantic structure rises an incredible four kilometers above the planet's surface. As already mentioned, the cryovolcano on Ceres is not the only representative of its kind. However, the ice volcano on the dwarf planet is the first that NASA was able to orbit directly. According to this, the natural formation on the small celestial body could be the foundation for the precise investigation of cryovolcanism. Experts have already discovered that the volcano in question is significantly younger than the dwarf planet itself. The surface structure of Ceres also suggests that the entire celestial body was once covered by dozens of these ice volcanoes. The question of why the population of cryovolcanoes on Ceres has been declining over the millennia is currently a key focus of research. Ultima Thule As soon as we enter the orbit of Neptune, we encounter an object that is called Ultima Thule within the scientific community. The fascinating thing about Ultima Thule is that the celestial body is, in detail, two single objects touching each other. While the larger structure called Ultima has a diameter of about 19.5 kilometers, the corresponding counterpart called Thule is much smaller, with a diameter of 14.2 kilometers. Ultima Thule draws its orbits through an orbit that creates an almost perfect circle. At the beginning of 2019, the NASA space probe New Horizons succeeded in passing the trans-Neptunian object for the first time. Thus, Ultima Thule is the most earthly celestial body that could ever be examined by a space probe. The researchers suspect that Ultima Thule has practically not changed since its creation about 4.6 billion years ago. Thus, the unusual double celestial body could provide important information about the earliest state of our solar system. 
on the official NASA website, you can find numerous images of this celestial body. There, inclined visitors have the opportunity to marvel at the mysterious object from all conceivable angles. A picture writes history. Black holes are without a doubt one of the most puzzling objects in our universe. The formations that generate such strong gravitation that they cannot even be penetrated by light have always been among the most highly regarded objects within space exploration. In the spring of 2019, NASA's Event Horizon Telescope, a huge network of radio telescopes, succeeded for the first time ever in producing an image of a black hole and its event horizon. The image, which shows in detail a black hole in the galaxy M87, became famous among experts practically overnight. However, countless laymen also enjoyed the first authentic image of a black hole. With regard to their classifications, the individual black holes differ very much from each other. This is especially true for the mechanism of formation and the dimensions of the corresponding black hole. So-called stellar black holes are formed, for example, as a result of a stellar collapse. The most impressive representatives of these objects, however, are supermassive black holes. Supermassive black holes play an important role in the formation of individual galaxies. In addition, these celestial bodies have the masses of many billions of stars. The breathtaking images taken by the Event Horizon Telescope show one of those supermassive black holes. The aforementioned galaxy M87, in which the fascinating object is located, is about 55 million light years away from our home Earth. The black hole, which we can admire in a published image, has a mass 6.5 billion times that of our Sun. To create the image of the black hole, the members of the Event Horizon Telescope team used countless individual radio telescopes, which, in meticulous fine-tuning together, calculated the world-famous image that was to become world-famous within a very short time. Methane Lakes on Titan When we long for a refreshing cool-down during the summer on our Earth, we often end up at the various bathing lakes on our globe. However, the lakes on the surface of Titan have nothing to do with the waters we know from our blue home planet. By the way, Titan is a moon of Saturn. The surface of the ring planet's natural satellite is littered with gigantic lakes of liquefied ethane and methane. Although the Earth and Titan differ significantly in their composition, the surfaces of the two celestial bodies look very similar at first glance. Saturn's moon, which is surrounded by an atmosphere of nitrogen, is home to numerous seas, rivers, and lakes, which, however, contain methane instead of water. This natural chemical compound, which is, among other things, the main component of natural gas, plays an essential role on Saturn's moon Titan during the formation of landscapes. The fact that the methane on Saturn's satellite occurs primarily in liquid form is mainly due to the moon's icy surface temperatures. While the existence of these methane lakes at the poles of the moon had been known for some time, the discovery of these mysterious chemical accumulations along the center of the celestial body caused pure amazement among experts. Before the methane lakes were discovered in the central regions of Titan, scientists believed that those lakes would only occur in the polar regions of Saturn's moon. Researchers suspected that the other regions of the moon were simply too warm for methane to be produced in liquid form. However, Titan's overall surface temperature, which averages minus 190 degrees Celsius, seems to favor the formation of methane lakes. Behemoth Last but not least, we would like to present you a mysterious discovery that was made by some NASA employees in 2016. The astronomers succeeded in finding an incredibly large black hole whose mass is about 17 billion times that of our Sun. The supermassive black hole, which experts have christened Behemoth, is located in a remote galaxy, which in turn is located in a sparsely populated area of our universe. The object discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope fascinates researchers mainly because of its gigantic dimensions and its unusual position. Behemoth is one of a group of other supermassive black holes that have been located primarily at the centers of very large, densely populated galaxies. The discovery of another giant black hole 
leads NASA's experts to suspect that the enormously large formations could occur more often than researchers had previously assumed. The largest black hole discovered so far has a mass 21 billion times that of our Sun. In further detail, this largest representative of its kind is located in an unimaginably large galaxy cluster consisting of more than 1,000 individual galaxies. The fact that the location of Behemoth breaks the usual spatial pattern makes experts ponder. Although Behemoth is similar in size to its counterparts, the supermassive black hole is not located at the center of a gigantic, crowded cluster of galaxies, but in a sparsely populated region of our universe with an estimated 20 galaxies. It would appear that experts are still at the very beginning of their mission to explore black holes. Countless years and generations of researchers will probably have to wait until these fascinating objects can be precisely explored. Did you enjoy our trip through the most mysterious discoveries of NASA? Is there an object that cast a special spell over you? Do black holes fascinate you as much as they fascinate us? Leave us your thoughts about this topic in the comments section. We are looking forward to your suggestions. Thank you very much for your interest, and we'll see you next time.